I'm Bernie from Crafters Companion. If you love doing patchwork and quilting and you love cutting your shapes out with a rotary cutter, this ruler from Threaders is ideal for you. This is our tri-square ruler. With this, you're going to be able to cut your squares, your half square triangles and your quarter square triangles. The ruler is all colour coded to help you get the different sizes and make some fantastic projects. Let's see how it works. So inside the packaging, you will get your ruler and if we look at this side this is the side where we're going to cut the squares and then on this side are your two types of triangles so we've got the half square triangles in the pink and then turn it again these are your quarter square triangle markings also in the packet you get your instructions so on here it's giving you full instructions how to cut each shape and with the diagrams for each one and then also we give you some design inspiration as well with some quantities on there of how many to cut for if you want to make these particular blocks so we give you all of that and then we give you some more on the back as well so let's see it in action i'm going to bring in my cutting mat first of all let's cut some squares so you've got an option here you can either cut one at a time or you can cut multiple layers. If you're a total beginner, I would say to cut one layer first and then build up to a few layers until you feel confident with a rotary cutter. So let's say I want to cut a four and a half inch square. So what you first need to do is straighten up your edges because you need to start with a straight edge. Now also with these tri-rulers, you can use any of our rotary cutters. So you can, we've got the 28 mil, we've got the 45, or we've got the 60 mil. They all work. So I've got a straight edge here. So then I'm going to turn the straight edge out and I'm bringing the ruler in. I'm going to find my four and a half inch line, which is this dashed line here. Now, if it makes it easier, you can turn your mat as long as it's more, the most comfortable way for you with your rotary cutter. And then I'm going to put that four and a half inch line on the straight edges that I've just cut and then this time I'll get the 45 mil and I'm going to cut up one side across the top and there we have a four and a half inch square. So the other thing is if you want to cut it from a strip so here I've got a four and a half inch strip that I've cut so this can be as long as you want so if you cut in a lot of pieces you're going to again bring in the ruler. I've already cut this to size. I'm lining up that four and a half inches, cut up the side, and then what you can do is continue along that strip to get your multiple pieces. And as I say, you can cut multiple layers with this. I usually cut maybe four layers at a time. For ease but if you are a beginner start off with one layer and get your confidence built up so they're the squares that you can cut the other thing you can cut is half square triangles this is one of my favorite shapes and it's one of the most common well these this set is the most common three shapes that you'll come with into well come across when you do and start learning patchwork so again, I'm going to do the four and a half inch as well to show you that. I've got a strip of fabric. This time I'll cut two layers so you can see those two layers being cut. And I'm looking now at the pink markings. So we can see the pink markings on here. Now the first thing I need to do is do a straight edge. So I'm just lining up any line. It doesn't matter which line. And I'm just cutting up that side so we've got that straight edge to start with. And then you're going to find the line that you're going to work from. So again, I'm going to look for that four and a half inch line. So it's the dashed line here. And I'm lining that up along the bottom edge of my fabric. And then this edge that I've just cut, I'm lining that up along the edge here. Now you can see here, if I just put a little piece of paper behind it, you can see there that the tip of the triangle is being cut off. Now what that does is that's going to help you in two ways. It's going to help you line up your pieces when you sew them together. It's also removing your dog ear for when you're stitching them 
and you don't need to trim them after. So it saves that step. It actually helps you in three ways because it saves a little bit of fabric as well. And we all love to save fabric. So now I've got that lined up. I'm going to come up this way. And there I've got my half square triangles, but I've cut two. If you want to cut multiples, all you need to do here is you can leave the fabric where it is. You can just turn the ruler around. Again, line those edges up. So I've got the line here. I've got the edge of the fabric here and the top bit lined up there. And then you're going to come up the other side. And we've now cut another four. Now, the way these work, I've got some blue ones here that I've cut already. The way they work is you, you're going to put them together. And when you sew them together, they're actually going to make a square. So if we line those up, and what we can see, can we see here that this edge is the one that I've got the dog ear cut off and the green is on the other edge. Now, don't worry if they are on opposite sides. What it means is, is when you cut your fabric, you've cut your fabric right sides together. So if I bring this one in and use this one that I cut, say, with the wrong side facing up and I line that one up, you can see there that they join so it doesn't matter which way you do it it's still going to line up so I'm going to hold these two together I'm going to take them to the sew machine and I'm going to sew a quarter inch seam all the way down there okay so I've got my machine set to a quarter inch seam And this is where it's good to have your iron on hand when you're doing any patchwork, always press as you go. Um, and it does make your work lie flatter as well. But I'm just going to finger press on this one, just so you can see that we've got there our half square triangles. There we go. So they're the half square triangles. So the other one that we've got to do is the quarter square triangle. So if I get my strip of fabric... So I've got my strip of fabric again here. Again, I'm going to cut two layers with this one. And I've cut this at four and a half inches. So this time we're looking at this side here, which is in the blue. So what we need to do, I'm just going to move my fabric to the other side. If you make sure your fabric's always lined up if you've got more than one layer. You're going to place the ruler onto the fabric because I know it's a four and a half inches I'm looking at the bottom line first and I'm lining up that four and a half inch line on the bottom of my fabric and on the top you can see we've got a tiny little triangle on there now that little triangle is doing a similar job to the one with the half square triangles it's taking the doggies off it's helping you line the pieces up and it's also going to save a tiny little bit of fabric so I've got that lined up there I'm going to cut up one side and then you've got an option here you can either flip the ruler over to cut up the other side or you can rotate your mat I like to rotate my mat for this one because obviously I'm left-handed so I want to be cutting up this side so I've turned that round and then I'm lining it back up again. So we've got that little triangle just hanging over the edge of the strip. I've got this lined up here. I've got the dash lined up here. And then again, I'm turning my mat to cut. So if I've got it that way, it means I've, I'm cutting it at an awkward angle. So if you just tilt your mat, so you're cutting away from yourself. And then we've got the quarter square triangles. So how these work and how these go together is you're going to have diff four different colours or opposite colours like this and you're going to put them together and this one's actually going to make an eight inch finished block when it's finished. So this sample here is a fantastic example of that quarter square triangle in action. We've got four here all sewn together. They actually then make the square which then are the same size as this, this square. So th that's how you can start putting them together. Alternatively, you could put a half square triangle in there and add two quarter square triangles onto it. You're still going to make that square. 
So with this ruler, you're going to be able to make those three shapes, the squares, the half square triangle and the quarter square triangle, all in one neat package. If you love your patchworking, this is definitely one to go in your crafty stash. <laughs>